If you want to build an AR application for iOS devices, what do you need? You need three things, a MacBook, an iPhone or an iPad, and a little bit of programming skills. In this video, I'll show you how to download and set up development tools, set up Unity project for AR development, and build this AR application for iPhone. All right, so first we need to download a game engine and our choice for today is Unity. So head to Unity's website, click on download Unity, and download Unity Hub for Mac. Once you have it downloaded, follow the on-screen instructions and install it. Once you have Unity Hub installed, you will have to sign in. If you don't have an account already, you can use this link to create one. And then you can click on agree to get a personal license. And now to install the Unity editor, you can go inside installs tab or you might have a pop-up already. And then you can click on install editor and install the latest version of Unity, which is Unity 6. Now, before we install the editor, it will ask you to select some of the modules. So make sure to select Visual Studio Code. It's an IDE that we'll be using for programming. Now, since we are building for iOS and not Android, you can uncheck Android build support. Make sure you have the iOS build support selected and scroll down and select the Mac build support ILTO CPP as well and click on install. The next software we need is Xcode. And to get that, you can open your app store, search for Xcode, select this app and install it. Now here it will ask you to select the component that you want to get started with. So make sure to select iOS and click on download and install. Now while these softwares are getting downloaded, we can set up our device for developing by enabling the developers mode. For that, navigate inside settings, privacy and security, scroll down, select developer mode and make sure to toggle this on. All right, so with that, we have our development tool set up. Now to build an AR application, Navigate inside project, click on new project, make sure to select the latest version of Unity editor and here we can select universal 3D core render pipeline or you can even download 3D built in render pipeline and use that as your template. For now, let's just select universal 3D core render pipeline, give your project a name and click on create project. Once you have your Unity project open, navigate inside file, build profiles. Select iOS as the platform and switch the platform. Next, navigate inside window, package manager, select Unity registry and scroll down till you find AR foundation and install this package. Once that's done, scroll down till you find XR plugin management and make sure that this is installed as well. And now you can close this window back into the build profiles. You can select player setting. You can change the default company name, scroll down and uncheck override default bundle identifier and check it back once again and then make sure that your bundle identifier is similar to the one that you have mentioned over here. Next, select XR plugin management. Make sure that you're on the iOS tab and select ARKit as the plugin provider. Then navigate inside project validation and if you see any issues, make sure to fix all of them. All right, so with that, we have our project set up. Now let's see how to set up our scene. Now first, select the main camera and delete it. Then right click on your hierarchy window Navigate inside XR and add AR session. Now this adds the AR session game object with the AR session component, which is responsible for controlling the life cycle of your AR experience by enabling or disabling AR on your target device. And it also has the AR input manager, which enables world tracking. Now without this component, you'll not be able to get the world space pose from your device and thus making this component as a requirement for the AR to function properly. Then right click on your hierarchy window once again, navigate inside XR and add XR origin mobile AR. Now this creates a game object called XR origin with the XR origin component, which is responsible for transforming the features such as plane surfaces or feature points into their final position and scale inside a unity scene. Then if you open as child objects, open camera offset, select the main camera and scroll down, you will find the AR camera manager. Now this component can be used to configure various settings like autofocus, light estimation, the facing direction of the camera and the render mode. And it also has the AR camera background script. When enabled, it renders the video from the device camera as a background of the scene. For now, we can leave it as disabled. Finally, we can add AR content to our scene. For now, I'm going to add a cube, but you can replace it with any model of your choice. So right click on your hierarchy, navigate inside 3D objects, add a cube. You can move it slightly up little forward, reduce its scale to 0.2 in all the direction, and you can change its rotation as well. Now, since we're using universal render pipeline in our project, there are some additional steps that we need to do. If you're using 3D core render pipeline, then you can skip to the next chapter. So 
navigate inside edit project settings select graphics here we want to change the default render pipeline from pc to mobile and to do that you can just click on it and here you can select mobile rp asset drag and drop it in this field and click on confirm then select mobile renderer scroll down click on add render features and select ar background render feature and that's about it now to build and test this on your device make sure to save your scene then navigate inside file build profiles make sure that you have added your scene click on build and run create a new folder called as builds and choose this folder as your build location also make sure that your phone is connected to the mac now once it's done building it's going to open xcode and try to build it on your phone but for the first time it's going to fail and that's because there's some app signing that we need to do for that select your unity iphone package then navigate inside signing and capabilities select automatically manage signing and click on enable automatic now for the team you will have to create one it can be yourself no problem with that and once you have selected it you should be able to see a signing certificate and now to build it onto your phone you can press this play button now for you to launch the application you need to verify the developer app certificate and for that navigate inside settings general vpn and device management select developer app and here you need to trust yourself as a trusted developer which is kind of funny and then finally you can launch the application and as you can see here you can see the cube floating in your room all right so now that you know how to develop ar app for ios devices what are the next steps you can download the sample project that's developed by unity themselves and build it onto your device now some of the examples might be grayed out and that's because it's not compatible with the device but you can check the ones that are available if you find one of these features interesting and you want us to make a video on that then do let us know in the comments below and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one